guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impression on the BH Cosmetics Naturally Luminescent Foundation, I think that's the name. Um, and yeah, today I am testing it out. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there. So if you guys want to know my thoughts and how this foundation wore out throughout the day, then just keep on watching. I picked this up at BH Cosmetics on the actual website. I'm actually going to film a haul because I did order kind of like their new collection and I'm like really excited. I picked mine in the shade 208 medium beige and they did not have a lot of um, shades available so I'm hoping that this actually matches me. And I mean the packaging is really really nice. It's glass, it doesn't feel cheap and it does come with a pump which we love. I picked it up and it was $5.70, $5.70. Um, I picked mine up. I I think I placed an order um, like a week ago, and it got put to me pretty quick. And this is called the Naturally Naturally Flawless Foundation. It says it has 4.4 uh, out of five stars reviews, and this one comes in 24 shades. And it says get skin pampering benefits in a radiant complexion with our new and improved BH Cosmetics liquid foundation reformulated with the addition of high high i can never pronounce that word <laughs> high hyaluronic acid it helps skin uh hydrated it helps keep skin hydrated and younger looking the foundation provides lightweight medium to full coverage and a natural satin finish um there's a perfect match for you i mean it says there's a perfect match for you i mean and the actual and I'll, I'll pop in a little picture here of the actual shades that they have like i said they only have 24 shades if you guys haven't watched my nyx born to glow foundation review i'll link it up here and that actually came in 45 shades so i personally don't think 24 shades is enough i don't think there's enough representation for all the skin tones that are there give this a go i'm gonna show you guys in Oh, she's thick. And we're gonna be blending this. It did say that it is a medium to full coverage foundation. Oh, actually, this is a really good color for my skin tone. Nice. I was a little scared that it was gonna be a little too dark. It has a very glowy look to it. Um, I'm gonna zoom you guys in a bit more. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has a glowy, like a sheen to it. I like the coverage. It looks really, really nice compared to this side of my face. Again, it covered my whole redness. Right away, I, I'm a little scared because I do have oily skin. And I think this may be a little bit too glowy comparing it to the um nyx uh, born to glow foundation um that one didn't look as glowy as this one you can see that like shine there so i'm just i don't know i will see So this is the foundation. I actually really like how it looks. Um, like I said, it has a, a, like a little sheen to it. Definitely more sheen than the NYX Born to Glow. If I were to like compare it with compare it with another foundation, you can definitely see the sheen more on this foundation. I'm a little worried because I do have oily skin. And I'm worried how long it's gonna last. So I'm gonna go ahead and film a couple more videos. I'm gonna go and film a full face of BH Cosmetics. So I'm so excited for that video. And I'll come back in a little bit. Okay, so I just finished my whole entire face. It is currently 11 a.m. I am starving and I'm ready to get some food. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of like how my face looks um, after I'm done with like my whole face. This is how the foundation is looking. It actually good, looks really well. Everything blended out really, really nice. And I think, yeah, I think we're going to start our like timer right now. And we're going to see how this face 
holds up throughout the day so hey guys so it is currently 10 40 and I've been wearing this foundation for about 10 and a half hours and I'm gonna show you guys in so you guys kind of like see uh, kind of like how my face is looking up close my face looks really 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 oily actually it looks way more oily than the NYX born to glow and I actually do prefer how uh, my face looked with that one instead of this one um, underneath my eyes where I put that concealer it looks extremely um, cakey and I don't know it looks like really really cakey right here underneath uh, the foundation is completely gone from my nose and I actually have I mean I may have food around my mouth because I ate but um, it, I don't have any foundation on my chin as well. But then right here, it looks a little... I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell. Maybe if I lower down the brightness. Um, maybe a little bit. Right here, actually, it looks a little like muddy. And I'm not sure why. You can't see um, my contour. Maybe a little bit of my contour, but that's about it. You cannot see my highlight or um, my blush. And I do want to zoom you guys in. So you can see kind of like my nose. Also like it looks really oily on my um, forehead and like around my eyebrows. It looks like extremely oily right here. That concealer looks really, really cakey. Uh, but then right here, it got like really caked up right here. But yeah, overall, I don't think I'm going to be using this if I have to like um, run errands just because I do have oily skin. And I did want to see how the foundation was going to wear throughout the day, but definitely I'm not a fan of this. I did have like high hopes for it, um, obviously because of the price. It's a really nice price. That is how the foundation wore out after 10 and a half hours. And that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the button down there. It really helps me out in my channel. And if you're planning on picking up this foundation, because for the price, I don't think you can really beat it. Excuse that sound, they're fixing something outside my apartment. But yeah, if you are planning on picking it up or you already tried it, let me know in the comment section. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!